So I'm tempted to ask you to close your eyes and just listen because we have a very familiar voice in the News 9 kitchen. And now you're going to put a face with the voice. Heather Bishop here from WZID. Face for radio. <laughs> not one bit. And the American Heart Association. Yes. Um, I don't know if you've noticed or not, but it's been very hot the last couple of days. Extremely hot. Temperatures in the 90s. Even when the temperatures are in the 80s, you can still get heat stroke. And you know this from a personal experience. Yeah. Running at 3 o'clock in the afternoon is not the best time to run in August. <laughs> Just letting you know. Um, but you know, if you notice the signs, like um, it's very hot and you're not sweating, your skin is dry, um, you've got a pounding headache, you're feeling a little not with it, those are some of the signs you need to seek medical attention as soon as possible. So, heat stroke, of course, a big issue in the summertime. So, we wanted to do something cool, something you could prep easily and then have for dinner. So we're making this fantastic salad. Now, it does require a tiny bit of cooking, okay. which is all I can handle. <laughs> so we have just a little bit of oil and some onions that have been sautéing. Then we're going to add a little bit of orange juice. Are you building the dressing here, Heather? This is the dressing. This okay. is the hard part. <laughs> then the white wine vinegar. Well, it smells great. It does. And then a little bit of brown sugar because, you know, I like it sweet. So then this just gets mixed in together, and it just kind of goes on. On low for a few minutes, stirring every once in a while. Now, while I'm doing this, why don't you put together the salad part? We've okay. got the lettuce. You can't yep. mess this up. Okay, even I, oh, I Seriously. did. As I say, you can't mess this up. We also had to add a little bit of pepper into what, is the dressing. Feta? What is it? That is, feta is better. Uh, <laughs> any kind of cheese that the kids like, go okay. ahead and try that. Okay. So you put that on top of your salad greens. Then you add some tomatoes. Who doesn't love some tomatoes, tomatoes this time look of year? Gorgeous. Yep. Especially if they're fresh from your garden. Garden. Um, and yep. what's great is this. Farmers you can, market. yeah, you can change it any way you want. If you've got extra cucumbers in the garden, or you found some great Great tomatoes, use those instead. Almonds. Almonds for a little bit of protein. I'm not an almond fan, so Are what you? I do is I grill up a little bit of chicken breast on the grill when I'm making dinner one night, and then I put it in the refrigerator and I have it for the rest of the week. Oh, that's great. And then Smart. Some bacon some bacon. Bits. Just that's a bacon little. bits, you know. Bacon bits. We're, we're heart healthy at the American Heart Association. You can find this recipe and more at heart.org slash NH or heart.org slash New Hampshire. Um, you know, heat stroke is very, very prevalent this time of year, and you've got to check children, you've got to check the elder adults. So maybe if you live near some, um, some seniors, Invite them over for a healthy salad or invite them over to come watch the new news. That way they're out of the heat of their apartment and they can get into the nice air conditioning for a while. Speaking now, of out, we're out of time. Is all right. this a wilted sa salad? No, nope. you then put we it just, on warm? Well you, well, you can cool it, but we're going to put it on warm. <laughs> the crew doesn't mind. It's there a you free go. salad. They're happy. Heather Bishop with Thank American you. Heart Association, New Hampshire, and WZID. Thanks for coming in. Thanks. We'll be right back.